Fucking have it ended. <laughs> Yay, more side quests. Alright, time to continue my quest way out here. Quest out here, level 16. Alright, what have you guys got going on over here? It is a cool and collected sergeant. Will Suisse who seeks an obliger today rather than the heart's <laughs> fire eater of the other day. Alright, what do you need? Weapons and armor in order, saltpeter in order, basic provisions all in order. Poisons? Oh, this vial's near gone. We need. Maybe we like bygones, big bygones. You're skilled in wrangling beasts. Need poison. Alright, beat up pelicans. Sure, I can do that. And then up here, once she has a task for me. Terry a while. It will not be said that adventurer came to the camp Skull Valley and left without honest pay for honest work. We have a problem with other encampments may we have a problem that other encampments may well find enviable. The dodos are so plentiful that even that they even nest within the barracks. The nest must be removed. Alright. Dodo nest. How many birds will I have to beat up here? Two. Hey, we smash them. Nice try, idiot. Oh, more than one nest. Oh, no, never mind. Just two, two dodos. Easy. What other problems do you have here? They do see when a soldier dallies and adventurer hurries. <laughs> Alright, the encampment was built to ward against the kobolds. You don't have a good purpose. You only need to look at our name. The valley floor was once lined with the skulls of kobolds. You. So no invader would reach its southern mouth in the settlements beyond without trading on death with every step. Seems to be danger of trading on dodo eggs at every turn. Doodles brought by settlers now run feral and keep us in meat, eggs, and headaches. Alright, get some more money. Oh, is that all you wanted? I feel like Marauder is stronger than Rogue. Smash! Smash, none of your cast and shit. All done! Alright, yep, I have all of this stuff for you. Here's your poison. You're not stinting. I see you're not stinting and filling those vials. Last venture returned with each barely half full and had the cheek to demand full payment. Oh. You know we're past with explosives, but they are not the foe we fight today. The fishbacks. But this too is a gun, so this the sagging are to pelican poison that even the the rawest recruit may with a poison tipped arrow find herself a, a fisher of beast men. <laughs> then the primal Leviathan rose and the sagging made it. Uh oh. I never knew the half stone settlement, but I, I believe it to be a home worth fighting for, and so we fight with steel, fire, and even poison. Sweet. Oh, more more jobs. I'm quite quite thawed towards you after a wintry start. It's practically humming as she desires a new task for you to undertake. What am I killing now? To the north and south lie narrow channels. Deliver a bottle of lowland wine to the captains? Sure. Cost more privilege of the quartermaster. Alright. Delivering booze. I'm bringing you wine. What brings you to the south tide gate? Your drinks. <laughs> Isn't she something crispy at full body is my guess. You know, don't think I had a chance with a woman like that, but it looks like she's sweet on me. I always was popular with the fairer sex if I still say myself. I have a brother you heard about that. He's the captain of North Tidegate. Like his peas in a pod they say, but they never pop those peas out of the pod if you take my meaning. Alright, got away about her she does. Cool as spray, but there's fire there and wall and welcome she is to show me the light and scorch off every stitch between the two of us. Romance. <laughs> Hello. Did you not see me? Come over here. Take on a few of you. Just crit smash you. Get my hunt done quickly. I need four. Never mind. I had one dead already. That's a lot of experience. Do we have to go to you to get... Pick up another thing of wine, or do I have to go over here and tell you that somebody wants to romance you? <laughs> the bottle, other bottles for the other captain. They're brothers in blood as well as arms. You'd, you'd think them closer for it, but the bickering is one. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Don't you need killer mantis as well? Yeah. Done. Lots of experience. Hello. Oh, quest. Alright, learn men write that he who is wroth feels not the morning sun and. Allier Loaf, everyone's a loaf, S certainly seems insensible to all but his pre pressing need for your service. Alright, where is Rohanth? I told that barnacle the engineers were letting us take the new ca cannon out for a test. 
I probably over in the crypt morbid I call it I like a good wallow now and then but he broods on dead folk he didn't even know you go fetch Rohanth I'll be liable to profane the lich by beating him about his thick head with that big stone hourglass and there you go again blasphemy the keeper not that I much cared for that Ponzi and that's probably another bit of an abominating here take these flowers Rohanth of the founder script give him the pretties for the dead that'll clear my slate and with the gods also I have your uh, I have your wine Halt. Well, how about for booze? <laughs> Excellent taste in wine. Must be a mind reader. For I have a supper of ocean cloud waiting that wants nothing more than a glass of lowland vintage. A bottle just for you. What sent one to, one to your idiot brother? <laughs> are you guys going to be fighting over her? She's a quartermaster. Doesn't he know this is a, a professional interest? <laughs> Alright. Nothing else? No? Just have fighting brothers now? Hi, Rohanth. Rest in peace. Here, have flowers. Maybe for this small, small in life, he who sleeps here is large in death. Put the flowers down. You never know now there was a hamlet here, would you? Half stone, t'was called, built on the sweat of near ten score brows and put to the sagging's torch. The settlers fought aye and how with not a trained soldier among them. Ergamir? Ergamir? Was one of them, a farmer by trade. He stayed behind to cover the final retreat, asking for as many arrows as he as could be spared. Then he took off his boots and gave them to another, saying it wasn't far where he was going. And here he lies now. Aw. I'd pressed to imagine doing what he did. You don't hold fast too much in a privateer's life. No captain's... No pirate captain's going down with their ship, and the, any captain that looks to loyalty more than gold is liable to have his throat slit. Now I, I gotta be better than that, don't I? I gotta be more like the poor dead dude. All right. Oh, more chores. It has the cross-eyed look of a man threading a needle, and <laughs> and none can doubt that you are the stitch in time that saves nine. All right. So what do I have to do? How about a bit of falcon hunting? Sure. Okay. Now I gotta kill killer mantises. <laughs> the commander sent out hunting parties and collected ten and six heads. There's no more than twenty in a. Clutch, think you can handle the last four? Sure. There's one right here. You make you see my shield. Enemies do zero damage. Well done. Nasty critters. <laughs> Good hunting. Alright. Ellie Loaf said he would be testing a new cannon like to blow himself to bits without me about. You can collect your pay from the commander. Alright, all done. What's going on here, guys? Go storm privates! I like the NPCs like half finish the the uh, fate. I forgot there's all these annoying pelicans around here. Might just walk up to one and just delete half its life. Well done and level up. Trick attack. I'm back. Finish some more chores. Hello. <laughs> what brings you here? The rest of the killer mantises? Yep. You have thanks this camp. Sometimes I fear that we will lose the war against Sagan for having to deal with pests and beasts. Alright, and level up. Oh, more chores. When the commander of Skull Valley herself wants a word with the humble adventurer before she takes to the road, all indications are that something unusual is afoot. So that means my chores are almost done here? <laughs> I'm being assist us one last time on your journey out. I have a dispatch here from Maelstrom Command, from Commodore Raynard of the Yellow Jackets. We have been investigating the... Sastasha Seagrot on their orders, but it seems they have taken on an adventure of excellent repute and pleasing manner. The Commodore writes to complete the work. Now, if you yes, ha, huh, that is you he speaks of, of course. Well, Camp Skull Valley would be glad to add to the burnish of your repute. You have carried out your commissions admirably well. Alright, I'm not too happy to withdraw our men from the caves, truth be told. It's the ranking officer, Sastasha Seagrot, locate him and tell him the mission is complete. All right, needs to report back. Your mission out here is all done. Do you mean to enter Sestasha? Nope. <laughs> what we're we doing out here? This is the spot for strategizing. Far better than Lemon Death's cave friend, and there none shall hear you scream. And back to Camp Skull Valley, and away from the Lemon Death of, the, of that hellhole. Most excellent. All right, you get to, you get to go off. You get to leave. And there is much danger in those depths. It is. 
What is the word? <laughs> you just said that like 13 times. Alright, now am I done? Nice clean map. I'm also head up here quickly. Be some wolves. I'm just smash some wolves. Alright, ready to get lots of experience? Alright, experience time. Whoa, entire level. You gotta kill things around here too. Three of these guys. You have to kill wolves as well. More experience. Yes, you need three wolves as well. I'm being sneaky. Because I'm going to trick you. Trick. So there goes half your life. Also, it's experience time. Experience. And equip all sorts of new stuff. Tank the rats. What are you guys doing? Help me kill them. Like, run in. Run away. Of course, you kill quite a few, huh? That's a lot of rats. Ow, it hurts. Get my hit points back. Or I take on a few more. This time with the cooldown. Oh, that's right, run away, rats. Right, I still have to do the escort quest. Tail and toe. Jack the level. Alright, come along, Memeroon. Wait, isn't it that guy at the, uh, the outpost up here? Hello, enemy. Any new threats gonna show up? Going all the way up to this exit. Perhaps you accidentally leave the leave the area. Come along. Look how many fucks I give about that ad. All done. <laughs> Memeroon is safe. Sparklies are safe. Should Memeroon share sparklies? Meme rune. All right, I'm good enough to do it. Thanks for bonus experience. And then finish off this quest. Of course, an important hub for trade. Hooray, I can do lebs here now. Mailport lebs unlocked. Better go to the Marauders Guild. Take on one of my, like, level 10 quests. What do we got here? Level 10 quest, Wake of Destruction. Alright, ongoing training. I've gathered what information I could concerning the beast that young Sigurd bade you slay that tales named this creature Kujata. Those who have witnessed Kujata in the terrifying flesh also call him the Stampeding Mountain, much is his immense size and bulk. Again, I will not seek to dissuade you from claiming vengeance for the boy's parents. In fact, I encourage it. But Tobolus Lumbering Colossi must first become his equal in strength and ferocity. And a single step towards this distant goal, I send you to Blind Iron Mines. I've had word that folk are falling prey to the claws of the local Galagos. If it is your task to protect the weak from these unruly creatures, learn to channel the rage inside you and your axe blades should sing in righteous slaughter. Also, new gear. Maybe I should also go pick up the, uh, the Rouge quest as well. Hello, I'd like to go inside. Alright, jack off, let's do the next quest. Another assignment. Fine day for work. It seems some eager buccaneer scamped to board a local merchantman and made off with a shipment of muskets. Alright, yellow jackets fell upon them, dapped coes before their boots was even dry. Alright, but the stolen boomsticks were nowhere to be found. Nah, I gotta go find them. When our guild was officially contracted to retrieve the goods, which weren't really needful since the code would have had us, do had us on the job anyway. You don't bite the purses of your fellow limenses and all that. So that's my assignment, alright. Me natty lass. Alright. I want this job handled quick and quiet and I have a perfect partner to show you how it's done. Come on over! The Cab the Stray. I'm bloody starving. <laughs> but when I got back from the work, it was bloody gone. <laughs> Alright, see if you can turn over that missing sandwich. You can go and buy a new one before she kicks your ass. The muskets was meant for the Yellow Jacket's armory, so once all once all is Bobby can hand the goods to one of their culls directly. Hm, okay. Alright, what are we off to do? What are we doing? Hmm, so I just have a few words with her first. Alright. 
Post okay, talk to the fishmonger. Got it. And they're right there. Handy dandy map stuff. Let's head to the aft castle. Sorry, badass, no time to talk to you. Hi, fishmonger. Hello. <laughs> I don't want fish. It's like, so we don't sell that kind here. My trying foreign merchants, what was they called again? Ah, the traders of Edge. They all from the South Sea Isles and are known for dealing in all types of nasty spitters and, cr cr and cutters. These folks ain't once were questioned the source of their merchandise. In fact, they seem more than happy to pay for goods that came from below decks, so to speak. If you were still keen to get your hands on those the rare fish, then you best hurry. The Edge merchant that's visiting uh, Limsa is looking to load up and leave the city. Alright. I guess I gotta hunt this person down, close enough to eyeball the competition, it seems. I'll be sure to keep an eye peeled on your, your behalf, but it might be... Might be as you can learn a little from the folk around town. Thanks. Bye. Holiday music is ominous. You were just hanging out here? Listening and eavesdropping? Traders of Edge. Oh, well, one of the merchants been staying in the city and then... Then someone will know someone that point us in the right direction. The trick is to listen without being seen. Be surprised at how call, calls will cackle when they think no one else is about. We'll focus on places what, that seem plenty of traffic. You can have the Bismarck, the Ferry Docks, and East Talkers uh, uh, Alley. I'll try my look and feel the spots, then meet you in front of the guild when I'm done. Remember, keep hidden, keep quiet, and keep your waddles open. I'm going to the Bismarck, which is the Culinarian's Guild. Who do I gotta speak to here? Well, let's all act sneaky like. Who's got shit to say? Oh, there we go! <laughs> Diving Dove appears distressed over some matter. Approach her while cloaked by her hide ability attempt to eavesdrop on her grumbling. What's going on? The sneer on that customer's face. Does he think I can I can command the skill to cook more swiftly just to meet his pressing departure schedule? Don't know how things are done in South Seas, but here in Limps Limps of Folk appreciate that fine cuisine cannot be rushed. Come now, Dove. You must not speak ill of patrons. Now, what was next on my list? Ah, another finger sandwich for the dutiful, for the dutiful sister. Someone there must be in rather fond of eggs. <laughs> Jack's gonna get caught. Monica will be like, I'm telling! Over to Hawker's Alley. Good for what ails you. Quest that I never did. On an NPC that's invisible. Dodozan. Oh, I learned the step dance. And my cask of ale is gone, and it had to be the one ordered by someone who doesn't brook tardiness. I would bring the matter to the maelstrom, or perhaps seek help from the yellow jackets, but my client would likely frown on involving anyone official. Venture such yourself, though, would be capable of doing a little unofficial investigating. Will you find the stolen ale from me? It was right outside Fisherman's Bottom. Someone surely saw something. Was that you? You would have the client's name? Oh, none of that. Discretion creates opportunities. Now go to Fisherman's Bottom and make your inquiries before this, this cold of mine grows worse. Cough. Bloody executioner's cough. <laughs> First, let's do some spying. Gareth was speaking in a low but lively tone. A nearby customer approached him while cloaked by her hideability attempt to eavesdrop on his ex <laughs> exhortations. What's going on? I have quite a knife for quality, but a splendid range of produce from every corner of Eurozea. One simply cannot visit Limps Limps without sampling some of the local specialties. Would you care for some freshly squeezed Lanotion orange juice? Or perhaps our famed salt cod is more to your taste? Mm, his impassioned urgings appear to have little relevance to your. Assignment. All right, and then both my quests got to go down here, anyways. Hello. After a cask, well, can't can't really say it's if it's your cask, but there was a big fella come by recently carrying one. He asked me if I had smoked mackies that would go down nice with ale. I think the only thing I know is the louse were black, and you know what happened. Well, that means the bloody executioners. Everyone appears distraught. Have to use hide, but I gotta talk to this guy first. Dang it! Final hide. <laughs> Mumbling to himself, curse my sense of duty. Would would that I had stayed at the wench for that extra pint instead of returning early? I didn't ask to see anyone being bribed, and certainly not my relief pilot. I wonder what that merchant was about smuggling. Most likely, sure I put this to yellow jackets. But what if I'm being watched? I could end up face down in the harbor. That's okay. I reported for you. Also, have you seen a cask? You can see me even though I'm invisible. I mean, a bad sort for a for a traitor. There was a. Topper come asking after the cask, wanted to know if it was Ale the, the poxy fool. Small boned seller. Is that what they call Lalafell? You see him walk over the cask Why well, sure, it was during the afternoon offloading. Fell in look like a thief though, hoisted the cask and walked right on over to the 
Astalicia. I right, search for dad ale. Search, search for what's ailing you. Hello, young executioner. Everyone's having a grand old time. What are you looking at? A dance duel? <laughs> Can you get down? <laughs> Everyone's having the time of their life with the sale. Mm, now there's only one. It's a miser's trick it is. Nope, nothing worse than, the, than a miser. That's horse son. <laughs> what was a Madrigal or Admiral? What was his name? He didn't like no drinking nor dancing. Bad for coral. Corals? Can't be right. Corals, yeah, of course you're right there. Last you should never doubt myself. Anyways, this m m pinch fist <laughs> passed decrees like they was farts. You could no dancing within a hand's reach of spirits. <laughs> Alright, get me all fired up too. Makes you think like, oh I know, you want to dance. All the all this time I just thought you was being churlish, but it's like I, I want info. Tell me something I want to know. Dance first, talk later. All right. He <laughs> sort of shrugs. Fine, I'll dance. Hooray, learn to do dance. <laughs> dance like sailing folk you do. I could swear there was three of you, or was I just... Never mind. <laughs> I want to know about some ale. Carried off from Fisherman's Bottom my very own self, I did. We already drunk all we had aboard. <laughs> She's like, what? Uh oh, trouble? Hugger mugger bow belongs to who? Doesn't has the cause not to mule about the color colors you wear and you play him for a fool? <laughs> I beg your pardon for my man, I swear. I was thinking for an oyster and gave him the brains. Gave him grip for brains when she made him. Since you're already here, how about square our account with Dodozan? Take the payment to him? We'd be much obliged. Alright, I can do that. Dance with us now, so I'm trusting the gill won't inspire any moral failings in you. That's some long kill on the <laughs> Astalicia, if you take my meaning. <laughs> and you, no more shit. <laughs> Still surprised. Run away! Can I just jump off? No, I can't. Alright, they were very apologetic about your AL person who still has to load in. I said load! Alright, Dodo. Yes, I did. Here's some gill. <laughs> That's first what you see, but where did you get it? Now, from the error, I mean, from the clients themselves, I see. Yes, there's always some blustery young fellow like that. Hasn't earned his swallows or stars yet, I'll wager. Cods, you say? Captain Monskate is ki kind to say so, I'm sure. But I hail from Ulda. We trade with anyone if, if they've got guilt to pay, pay. Pirates, princess, they're all the same to me. And if I know these particular pirates, and I do, they'll be wanting another cask soon to drink away this little fracas. Many thanks, adventure. Sweet and new dance. <laughs> Step dance. And come back down here and talk to Vakeb. I have info. Bribery. <laughs> You'll be an angel of death with daggers dubbed on any rogue what shuns the shadows headed for an early grave. Sneaky Morkin knows about without risking a scrap or slip herself into the best position to ambush a mark. 
Once they've seen you though, he, your rum fun is done. Hiding is part concealment and part distraction, and you won't be dis disappearing on a cove that already knows you there. Teaching to hide. Alright, I'm done prattling. What did you manage to learn about our musket buying merchant friend? Bribery. <laughs> this trainer means to hop twig and soon. That matches my own findings. He's vacated his rooms at the inn and paid his dues in full. In which we can be sure that he won't be leaving without his merchandise. So here's the plan. Wait for him to stack his goods on the pier, then you ghost in and grab him the firearms. And we can get the job done on quiet and under cover of dark dark mans, but it never hurts to be prepared for the worst. It's not like he's got a small army of cell swords on the payroll. Something bad's probably gonna happen. Alright. Now you don't have to fart a bolt once you've bitten the goods. The mark should be along my any moment. Have you got your skulking boots on? Yep. Alright, what have you got going on here at the docks? Alright, hide. Can I just go around and just kill everything? <laughs> no special sight to you. Can I just sneak by you? Idiot. Fucking John Cena, you can't see me. Wait, did I just walk through the boxes? <laughs> I'll hide in the boxes and pick it up. God, I might just hide and leave. But no, they probably want me to fight something, don't they? Hello. There's one missing. My crate of muskets, it's gone. Yep, I got him. <laughs> Fucking big smug face. See what was one? I could have killed them on the way, right? No, stop your shit. Oh, you're weak. Hi, Bikab. Oh, get fucked. Hired muscle. He's tanking for me. Any other hired muscle? Need to deliver him? Or am I delivering these two? Oh, here's the handoff. Hello, I have your stuff. Your guns. Alright, now I gotta go back. Oh, never mind, all done. I'm a ninja. Or at least I won't be for until another ten levels from now. Alright, all done. That turned hairy, didn't it? There wasn't really much to do. The merchant call off his blades... If I'm wise enough to cut his losses, I'll give him that. I'd say we're all done here. Let's head inside and tell Jack off the, the news. Fireworks! Hooray! <laughs> that many swaz was there. But you got the yellow jackets what they wanted, and all's well that ends well. We're going to be becoming a first class rouge. Job didn't hold exactly as planned, but do you see the value of keeping out of sight? Yes, yeah, stealth. I mean, I can do that anytime as a miner or botanist, right? A bit of bad news for you. Admit it. I mean, it was you. <laughs> Billy's about to be ready to cave in on himself. You manipulative jerk. <laughs> You're a dick. Slash doubt. Maybe next time you can think twice <laughs> about your fellow rogue so Oh, bollocks! <laughs> oh, you're gonna get your ass kicked. You're gonna get your ass kicked. I'm <laughs> panic. Run. <laughs> Mustn't ignore the code. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh oh. Murder. <laughs> I 
the code exists to preserve peace and limbs, though, to keep the alleys from running red of blood. The city's my home. I'll drag, draw daggers on any co fool enough to threaten that peace. Idiot! <laughs> Your sandals should get cold. Yup! At least you gave me a grand view of the harbor. God's pissed these robes are tight. <laughs> It's your own fault, idiot! Is that a bad thing? Huh. Jerk alert. It's like, hey, you made it down. <laughs> I'm also to leave chafe marks for a bleeding week. He kept me up over an egg sandwich. <laughs> Alright, all done. Alright, next quest. And I got throwing dagger. Alright, some nasty trouble. Alright, I'm calling Underfoot and the Stray in on this as well. Be a right little rogue family reunion. Hello, friends. You wanna get strung up again? This tier came from Maelstrom Command with confidential orders direct from the Admiral herself. So you know this won't be a simple job. Major Guildmaster Master speaks truly. It was several days ago when an emancipated man stumbled into one of our camps seeking aid. Upon questioning the poor fellow, we discovered that he had narrowly escaped a life of slavery. He claimed that pirates had raided his village, abducting him and many others to sell on a black market auction block. The Spash patrolled to confirm the tale and found the village almost completely destroyed. It was a meager settlement without so much as a guardhouse. Thus did its unkind fate escape our notice until now. you think this pirate's never heard of the code. When Pillage and Honest calls and dip in their wicks in the slave trade, they're headed to the right way for a good stabbing. I agree, stab him. <laughs> the code's never unforgiven against those as raised weapons against the weak. After all, the first parts in these parts were cause of fleet and oppression in the northern seas. Ignore your history and you risk becoming what it was you've hated most. So, you made a mark for us? A description given to us in Skipper, we determine that these lawbreakers are members of the Jolly Merchants, a pirate crew in possession of an official privateering license. It would appear, however, that privateering has been not but a screen behind which they hide their illicit activities. One can only imagine how many other limited civilians have fallen prey to these wicked slavers. And we've let it happen right under our very noses. Naturally, the Admiral desires a swift resolution to this ignominy, but merely tracking down those poor souls who have already been sold and is proving heavily taxing to our allocated resources. We could throw more soldiers at the problem, but that runs the risk of drawing the small folks' attention and inciting undue panic. So we're going to do this the stealthy way. So I came to the rogues, the Rouge's Guild for help. We ask that you eliminate the Jolly Merchants and liberate the villagers, villagers presently in their custody and that you do so with the utmost discretion. Alright. Those nasty kills of Feel our short blades pricking into their backs, still enjoy but a brief moment of I regret before the code is rightly enforced. Right, let's get to work. Alright, you two lend your skills to the Maelstrom's investigation, and I'll hang out with Jack. Alright, I think you're ready for the next step in your education. Sticking with the pointy end, right? The client tells me that the Jolly Merchant men set sail from Aleport a few bells ago. And board an Imperial ship or two, but that's just some mummery they've put on to amuse the Admiral's swads. I reckon the rest of the crew will be back on land looking to snap the shackles on a fresh herd of chattel. Just to prove my theory right, one of them jolly bastards got himself spotted creeping about the ruffians in Lower Lenosha. There's a there's a cove in Morby Dry Docks. I likely know the full story, alright. He's more of a shipwright than a rouge. Alright, keep his glaze keen for the guild head over and have yourself a prattle and I'll join you soon like. Alright. Marauder things. Beat up some Galagos. There's three. Slam. Slam them. Done. <laughs> I'm strong now. Your actions have saved many from needless injury. Three efforts are to be commended. 
There is yet much work to be done. Kujata, the object of vengeance, has trampled a farmer's wagon as he thundered through the lands of Tiller's Rest. The food stuffs spilled from the overturned wagon have attracted all manner of hungry predators without produce for the market. The farmers will surely suffer for coin this season. Your duty is, cl is thus clear. You put down those rapacious scavengers and preserve the cargo. And all the way back out to Summerford. Overturned Wayne. Wayne's world. Alright, what do we gotta fight here? Just a single one? Oh, get fucked. Anything else? It's not a two more. Nice attacks, idiots. Like one more. No. <laughs> that it? Alright, that's it. Oh, that's actually really it. The quest was a lot faster than the Rogue's Guild one. All done. Your capacity for carnage has been tested and proven. The creatures that you defeated, however, were merely some of the many base scavengers that subsist on the scraps left in the wake of Kujata's rampages. To face them, to face the beast himself, you require more training. But do not despair. Next master and fellow marauder, this I swear, I will not rest until I have taught you how to wring every last ounce of power from your weapon, until the blade of your axe can slice clean through the thickest hide, the most knotted muscle of the densest bone. This menace will fall by your hand. Alright, next quest. Now what I gotta do? Not too many words as it shows in your bearing and your unwavering gaze. It's time for you to once more lift your axe in service to the guild. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Aleport in western Lenosha. The monster is no Kujata, but the threat it pres presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention. It should also prove a worthy foe to test your burgeoning prowess. How to find this beast? Well, I'm fortunate enough to court among my acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Rainfred. What's up, Fred? He took up residence in Aleport some years ago and will gladly aid you in this task. With Rainfred's assistance, you can track down this prowling danger and provide its swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May your axe swing true. Hey dude, I need your help. I know what you are. What can old Swarsent do for you? Hunting down jolly merchant slavers? Ah, well that explains a few things. Just keep an eye on the bustle about the dry docks you see when I spied an odd trio off in the distance. This rough looking sod, one of your pirates I'd wager, was prodding around another, was prodding along another blogan of the poor skinny lass I've seen whip curse less miserable than the two being herded. As I saw they were headed south, if the true what you're saying about this slavery business is true, then the Jolly Merchant's not going to walk his charges all the way to the market. No, he's likely waiting for him. And if I were a slaver headed south, my vessel would be hidden somewhere along the Salt Strand. That doesn't leave you much time. You said Jack was on his way, yes? You'd best go on ahead, and then I'll point him in the right direction. Alright. I was wrong, I have to come to Dry Docks, not Aleport. For the Rouge Quest. Alright, shit's happening here, right? What kind of shenanigans are going on over here? Should have used time. Surprise! Now, what do we got here? My peg leg grandma hobbles quicker than you, miserable sacks of shit. This guy's rude, or maybe you need another thrashing, is it? You already forgot what happens when you try, when you try my generous patience. No more beatings! Let's murder this guy. Leviathan scale the arse. She's weeping again. Listen, we're headed to Aleport. Unless me and my shipmates gathered to take stock of the merchandise and decide what gets sold where. You see, some buyers want only lads while others are looking for lasses. As long as we keep such rich bastards happy, we can make more coin than we ever did scrapping the Empire's war galleys. Now that you care about that, I suppose, what matters to you is that, we'll be, is that you'll be loaded onto the Jolly Merchant Men, sailed off to God knows where, and Limsil will be a distant memory. Murder them. As long as you had to fill that empty belly with one last gobful of sweet Lenotian sweet sea breeze. Gah ha 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 ha. Fuck you. <laughs> Play twist his eyes here and now, but that won't get the job done. We'll let him guide us to his mates in Aleport, then we'll mill the whole bloody lot of them. The Jolly merchants will get their due, don't you worry about that. They've gone. Alright, off to Aleport. Yeah. 
We can sail there from here. But why bother when you can just teleport? <laughs> What's up, Jack? You made it here quickly. Look up, look way up. See him taking a room under an alias. Hiding their operation in plain sight. Bold as brass eye, but it's an old slaver's trick. See, even if, you, even if some car recognizes the merchandise, only a single handler gets boned. The rest of the crew just whistles, all innocent like, while their mate is marched off to cry cockles. And you can bet they've threatened bloody murder for any prisoner that raises in a hue and cry. Patience now, lass. We'll just wait until we're sure that all of the black guards have arrived. Meanwhile, you'd be sharp sharp and you stabbers. We have a busy night ahead of us. Instance. First, let's talk to Axe Folk here. Hello. What's up, Fred? Well, I've known that Sprat since he was knee high to a. Well, he was always kind of a big fella. <laughs> and now they call him Axe Master, eh? Not a subtle lot, you marauders. Suppose you were to hunt down our local trouble. What you need to do then is take yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. The mean bugle you're after is named Patripatan, by the way. We'll come running across the weeded plains. He'll think you're trespassing on his territory, see? So you better have that cleaver yours ready. Alright, Marshall's blessings be upon ye. Is this gonna be an instance too? Or just like, is this just going murder? It's just murder. <laughs> whistle! Come get me. I'm hiding behind this rock. Oh, you're getting fucked up. Slam! I'm paralyzed! Oh, that was easy. Ha, ah, paralysis! Alright, let's do this instance. Ready for the job? Ambush time. That'll be long enough. We'll just have to hope there aren't any stragglers. Listen closely now, the lurch is described as plain old venturers, and have settled themselves in three separate rooms here in the airport. Be sneaky like, and we will know which kills the merchants. Easy, take a look at the daddles of the of that bingo swan call over yonder. He's wearing lavender gloves. The exact same type that the nasty saw at the salt strand hat on. That'd be how they find each other in a crowd. Of course, all I will where each of the bastards will stay and then just sn snitch the hopeless gloves of the company they keep and you can be sure you've found your mark. So here's a job and all laid out for you. You hit the, all three common rooms, mill the merchants quick and dirty like and get those captives that bleeding lives back. Alright, alright. I can do that. The storm door has been forced open. Some thieves saw it been at the ale. Huh. Not according to plan. <laughs> you think they'd be doing their best not to draw attention to themselves, all things considered bloody oafs. And that way we got a swarm of yellow jackets buzzing about looking for blood. They spot us one around in the in the, in the dark man's of feeling they'll ask first and ask questions later. Uh, I'll be. It'd be best then if the patrols never knew we was here. So hide. So we sneak as we can in each of the common rooms and use the Telltale Lavender Gloves to identify our marks. There's innocent calls in there as well, mine, so let's try not to stab any that don't deserve it. I think we should head out one at a time to avoid the Yellow Jackets, so I'll, I'll let you take the lead after you. Alright. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I can still sprint while stealth. Hi, guys. No, oh, I see some lavender gloves. Guess what? Trick attack. Surprise! You're free! It's kind of a well dressed slave. No problem, fellow Lalafell. Alright, I'm gonna disappear now. Sneaky again. Sneaky, sneaky. Anybody home? I mean, you can tell who the bad ones are. They're right beside people with bindings. Also, guess what? Oh, I still have 10 I, I'm waiting the 10 seconds. You're getting tricked so hard. And then stunned immediately. Surprise! Alright, you're free. They're all Lalafell? You're free! Yep, you're free. And now I'm invisible again. Need food, though. Back to being sneaky. Hello, any bindings? Yes, there's some bindings. Guess what? Trick attack! You got so fucked up. Oh, two of you guys. Are you the ones I saw at the port? At, uh, what is it? Morby Dry Docks? 
You are all free now! Alright. I'm disappearing. Oh, hi Jack. Didn't even need my help. No, I didn't. Back to the shadow. I am in the shadows. Oh. Hi guys. I want to accidentally hit these other guys. That's right, murder. Did it. Level up. New difficulty rank unlocked. Did it. Just finished reading the report. <laughs> no problem. Anyways, we all done here? Except for that one little skirmish at the end, we were still sneaky. Alright, Maelstrom will take care of everything else. As for the Jolly Merchant, well, her, cu her crew can expect a visit from the Admiral's finest galleys. And it won't be for tea and crumpets. <laughs> Alright, time to go back. Yep. All in a Rouge's work. The dreadful pirate was muttering into his cups. Something about another rainy party that hadn't made it ba yet made it back. Something about hunting for slaves in western Lenosha and being so close to Aleport I kept assuming they were out rounding up Chattel until last bell. Oh. We'll look into it. Thanks for the info. So much for saving a victory pint. <laughs> How's your throwing arm? <laughs> Learned how to fling up a, a tiny blade. I would find need to sting a cove from a distance. Can you last like yourself figure out all sorts of use for a well thrown dagger? Alright, sweet throwing dagger. Alright, gained a superpower. I can throw daggers now. Alright, you gonna stick around here for the next quest or have to go all the way back? No, you're gonna stick around here. Alright. Track down the remnants of the Jolly Merchants. I get to mug enemies. Last few Jolly Merchant bastards must be camped out somewhere in western Lenosha now. If I was a black blooded guild grub and slaver, where would I be hiding? Even those bollocks or brains pirates know better than trespass on fishback territory. And they won't want a chance to run into patrols near Aleport, so that just leaves us east. The flock? I'm likely we sell it down in the ruins out there amongst the dodos. That's where we'll try to pick up the trail. You head over and snitch the place while I send word to the sisters in the maelstrom. Snitch the place. Search the place. Any bad guys out here? I haven't found one. Oh, immediately into an instance? Help for child! Alright. Hello. And there's Jack. <laughs> there's some interesting looking dodos he got there. The leader mentioned heading over to Aleport. He said something about there being no signal and that it was a signal that something was wrong. So those hobbled here like lamps for the market. One of them japed about keeping the meat unsullied in case there was trouble. Pray let us flee the place where they return before they return. Uh oh. Damn the thing, we don't have a crew lodged in the airport and not a one of them survived the night. Done in by a couple of sneaky curs favored the short blades, they say. So isn't that was you two. Seems you have a bone to pick with our choice of trade. Can't say I have much use for slavery except as a place to bury my knives. I wouldn't bother yourself with uh, waiting on your ship to come back, neither the Jolly Merchants were do are done for. But then you wouldn't know the kind of coin three wealthy slaves like them ones will bring us. I'll have a new ship and a new crew before a single moon has passed. Not unless we stab you. You're each worth a shining bloody fortune and you have me to thank for helping you learn your true worth. You know this bleeding sod. In fact, why don't you keep back a ways? <laughs> Run away! 
All right, things are gonna get messy. <laughs> did you not think we, we? Did you not think we'd come for you? You can try to stuff stuff your victim's screams in the darkness, but the shadows are always listening. Stun. I guess I didn't need to stun that one. Suddenly more. Always more of them. Jack, you got. You really gotta dodge that. This is, the birds are slowly on Asky Peck. They also died in one hit. Here come more. Even one toss dagger killed them. All right, just you left. Oh wait, more more of them. Fuck you, birds. Die in one hit. Captain Jack still has more than half his life left. I think we're winning this fight. Oh, you guys got fucked up. Did I win? Oh, hello. Underfoot is here to get underfoot. Uh, you guys are a bit late. <laughs> At least I would if any bugger was left standing. <laughs> All right. Let's get more ads. No scratch for latecomers. <laughs> the last time we had a hunger. We just did a lot of stabbing, Captain Jack. What, like the singer, the band? Oh my god, we did so much stabbing. No problem. I knew someone would come. You're just like the heroes in the stories. I always arrive at the perfect time and trump over the villains. Do you think I could be a hero like you? I know I could be brave and strong too. I just know it. Oh, one day, lad. You don't want to be like me, lad. <laughs> Listen now, me and those cops here, we're the ones the scary folk are afraid of, and that's because we keep the rules for the world for the world they live in. We don't much care if you shirk your chores or get into fights, but if you break the code and betray your mates, then that's when we'll come after you, no matter how far you, how, how far you run or how well you hide. Live your life like the hero you want to be, no, and you'll never need to worry about that. He's like, what? <laughs> Hi, guys. I assume you're citizens who are abducted by the Jolly Merchants. I'm Captain Milala of the Yellow Jackets. Maelstrom Command has entrusted me with conducting you to safety. Were you the one that was eavesdropping earlier? It's all right, lad. These folks will take good care of ya. Go on, just not get left behind. This questline has a lot of lalas. <laughs> Anything else? A job from me for you? How absurd why I'd rather hire a sewer rat to mine my rude I was during one of those jobs that you turned Aleport into a slaughterhouse? What dark age is this that we must employ assassins to enforce the law? If this continued talents with underworld miscreants such as you that prevents limbs to limits from ever fully expunging the stain of pra of piratical infection. Look at those weapons you bear. Such persons uses such implements to carve meat or peel fruit and leaves them at table where they belong. Did you perhaps clench them twixt your teeth as you swing over rails like the pirates you hunt? Our fair city has no place for those who... She's so rude. Another champion of the Justice Nation requires that a valiant and forth of soldiers of the Yellow Jackets. I want to slap that smirk off your face. What the bloody hells does this call want with us? <laughs> I don't know what the foggiest idea, love. Just smile and nod. <laughs> I'm gonna put this into piracy in all its forms. Consider this visit a gauntlet thrown at the collective feet of the Rogues Guild. You're gonna lose that fight. 
Just before dawn this very morning, a maelstrom vessel stocked with provisions was boarded and looted by pirates. Much of the cargo was stolen, and that is vexing indeed, but it is the theft of three items in particular. Three unique treasures of nigh incalculable worth that most distresses my martial colleagues. As for the brigands, they made well their escape, disappearing into the dawn's mist along with their precious plunder. <laughs> a rum tale. What, what's it to do with us? I challenge you, a contest to reclaim those stolen treasures. Should my yellow jackets and I succeed in achieving the greater share, I shall formally pro propose the abolition of the Rogues Guild upon review of our achievements. The Admiral will surely concede that your unscrupulous institution has outlived its usefulness. You're not going to win that fight. I'll blow it out your waddle. I've better ways to spend my time. <laughs> now, do you now? This incident constitutes a theft against the nation of Limsa Lemonsa. Does that not violate your beloved code? I want to slap that smirk off your face. I'm not mistaken, no choice but to rise to, you've no choice but to rise to the occasion. Unless, of course, you mean to slink back into your hole and abandon the fundamental precepts of your duty. Alright, alright, you screeching shrew. You made your bloody point, and you'll be sorry that that you did, I promise you that. Your paltry promises amount to not in the face of my conviction. I shall not rest until limbs to limbs is free of every last buccaneer scoundrel and shadow dwelling ne'er do well. Prickly, ain't she? For now, we head back to the sisters. What a bitch. <laughs> right, new gear. Hello, I'm back. For a wee last time, Milah has got some bollocks. Seems she's well done with uh, uh, what whiffs the pirate stock. I don't take kindly to calls pulling my strings, but the shrew is right. The code's been broken. We've got a job to do. It sounds as though the, them codes knew that we, were, what they were about when they cloyed them treasures. On, I'll, I'll need you at your best. In five more levels, <laughs> it's time to learn the art of mugging. Rough up a call in just the right way, and he'll give up more than what he'd get you if you just plain knocked him on his ass. I'm busy with the story of them bitten baubles, so you're free to head out and sharpen your skill. I would be as you'll pocket some extra blunt while you're at it. All right, more money, more superpowers, more powers. Yay, more powers! Learn to mug. Level twenty. Stolen treasures. But ready to run rings around Captain Pilar and her swads. They'll get some pr press in their investigations to the treasures. What well, was cloaked in that maelstrom tub, but as you know, we've got our own network. <laughs> Alright, as for sharpening the job, it's, it's, it'll be you, me, underfoot, and the stray. Let's get down to business. What do we gotta do? What did you find out? You can't just lead to the feast. <laughs> Let's make sure we're all on the save page for now. We don't know yet. We have two goals for this job. Bite back them three treasures and mill the... Coes that cloyed him in the first place. I'm sure the yellow jackets, that yellow jacket shoe will be doing her damnedest to beat us to the marks. Seen as the fate of the guild is at stake, we best not drag our do beaters on this one. I say we grab them baubles before she gets she's even lifted anchor and give her a proper reason to rage against us rogues. You seem awful keen on this contest all of a sudden, Jack. Well, here's the thing. I sent me, me a grievance to the <laughs> to Lassacrassi regarding the shrew's challenge. But then paper shufflers don't care a whit as long as it gets in, as one of us gets the job done. So I figured I'd sail with the wind rather than against it. Besides, we wouldn't want to shirk our duties and force poor Captain Milala to blunder about in the scary darkness now. Darkmans now, would we? How very gentlemanly of you. Oh, them's the cards we got dealt. Now, stow your quips and let's hear what you've learned about them bloody treasures already. Alright. And we're looking to bite back the Cerulean Star, the Silver Sorrows, and something called the Black Sarcophagus. Aside from the fancy names, I was able to whittle a few more details. The Cerulean Star for Sorrows is a big big old blue diamond that shines like, well, like a star, I suppose. Then we've got the Silver Sorrows, a pair of earrings that once graced the walls of a Sultana of Ulda. There's a tale there, but one that don't concern us at present. And then the Black Sarcophagus thing, I'm afraid that... That one remained a mystery no matter how much I poked and prodded. In any case, all three of the trinkets were recorded as spoils from official privateer and raids. As you know, a pirate will usually sell his plunder through a reliable 
defense sometimes though, holding an auction is the only way to offload goods what is too extravagant or just too bleeding rare for the average cult to deal in. Our three wondrous treasures fell into the auction only category. When the bidding began in Aleport, uh, they weighed in with its ample per the the elastic the elasticracy <laughs> weighed in with its ample purse, made some unmatchable offers, and organized a tub for the merchandise to be shipped back to Limsa. And that's what our mark swooped in and picked their transport clean. At a few at a few woods with them, Maelstrom sailors as survived the attack, and they pointed the finger at the grinning cur grinning curs. No one calls seen hide nor hair of the curs. I don't mention their bloody ship since the raid. You're late. Uh oh, what happened? Some of the cargo was collected from the transport was just found during a routine inspection at the Lethagran checkpoint. They've made landfall. Any mention of the treasures? Jackets ain't done shaking out all their boxes yet. Better get our eyes out there quick like Monica Underfoot. You fresh for a run, aren't you? Alright, let's go. I'll race you to the checkpoint. Well, you'll win because I have to make a stop at the Marauders Guild. Alright. Now off to do more chores. Hello, brutal strength. Alright, your, your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There's no more tasks I'll have you complete this day. A task that will demonstrate for you, for you just how strong you have become. Report to whoever that is. Who waits on the bank of the Ageless River and he shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. Scafgim. I lass, I know why you're here. After, and after seeing this big boulder, I'm waging. Yep, I gotta go smash a boulder. <laughs> Rocks are more challenging than pebbles. Rock game had you train a nod uh, to crack this baby for a relatively heavy swing. Possibly say, ha! Huh. Since if we didn't think you capable. Heavy swing. Whoa. <laughs> that rocks. <laughs> Look at that, and on your first attempt, too. Well, I guess it's back to the axe master for you. Oh my god, my axe is so much stronger. It's like, beat up these monsters, do this, do this, and then at the very end, it's like, break a rock. Alright, I have smashed a rock. <laughs> that requires a cutscene. Definitely crack of shouting bullet reached me even here. And this feat of strength deserves recognition he shall have in the form of a new technique. Adopted and perked by the guild forces, the tomahawk throw was first devised by pirates in, uh, as an opening attack in closing enemy vessels. Though we probably focus on close core combat, you will no doubt find that having a powerful range strike at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense that the impending confrontation with Kujata weighs heavily on your mind, but hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There is no swift road to attaining the peak of mastery you seek, only a steady measured ascent. Alright, and I learned new superpowers! After breaking another big fucking rock. Yeah, so strong! Learned Tomahawk. And hit level 20 so I can take this next quest. Requires you some of the troubling development. Uh oh, what's going on now? You recall the lad whose parents were slain by the beast Kujata? The boy's grand grandfather nettered. But recently, contest with worrisome news, young Sigurd has gone missing. Ned Stark? There have been signs of Kujata in the area, and it would seem that the child had felt compelled to seek the creature out. As you're familiar with the boy and his tragic tale, we'll have you attend to this matter. My sister, Salkwib, awaits you at the Bismarck. She has been appraised of the situation, and will aid you in plotting a suitable course of action. Alright, to the restaurant. Oh, and new gear. Alright, sul sulking weeb. Hello. I assume you discussed the missing child and not to sample a bowl of mutton stew. First things first, I advise against rushing up to peer under every rock in the countryside. We need more information to direct our search. Let's just head to the Red Rooster Stead and learn what we can from old Nettard. Alright. Over here. We should go do stabby things first. Come all the way down south. See what Under Rock wants. <laughs> I won our race. You owe me a pint. <laughs> I'm able to catch from the swans at the gate. 
It seems a peddler was boned for carrying goods and was known to be aboard the transport. They carted the poor sod away in chains, but the cargo itself is still here. I saw a pair of jackets carrying boxes up the wooden ramp. So we're going to steal it? <laughs> and they won't open their... Against Raskin, though, not while the fool's challenge is going on. Do you think you can skulk over there and <laughs> see if they found any treasures yet? Sure. I can hide and find out what's going on. Oh, I have to climb over here. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm expecting cargo. Approach them while well cloaked. Listen to their progress. Have you guys found anything? It's all junk. No diamond. No earrings. Except to learn, lean hard on that skinny peddler for to find them treasures. Sergeant says the merchant still pleading ignorance. Claims he was hired to carry the goods to the checkpoint, and not else. What a pile of shit! I'm guessing the pirates split the cargo and are trying their luck at every checkpoint. Captain Lala has already given orders to double the guard and inspect every cart and wagon that comes through. Alright, nothing here. Being conspicuous, ride a bike all the way back to hide behind a rock. <laughs> Alright, lost con is before we even properly started. Something don't add up here. Why would you, why would you order a call to carry the goods through the checkpoint? No smuggler in that is that daft, surely. Maybe by some miracle the goods squirm through Lethagrin without raising a fuss. Why would you just take merchandise back to the city that you cloed it from? Now, there's a bigger picture, and we need to take a step back to see it. Assuming the curs hired the peddler to do their dirty work, there'll be someone in the shadows who's broken the deal, and I just happen to know a girl that makes, his, makes it his business to oversee these kinds of shady arrangements. The thing is, this black marketer bloke changes his haunts depending on how the breeze blows. Quite literally, in fact, I seem to recall the Navigale's veil vale being shifted by a, a westerly this morning, so that put him uh, at Tiller's rest. Nice and close. Why don't we go ask him a few questions before we head back to the guild? All right, black marketer, what have you got? Pardon myself my memory for faces, but yours is unknown to me. Are you an earnest customer or an inquisitive annoyance? I must be sure of your intentions. Oh. I'm apparently an annoyance. This certainly won't hit very hard. All right, you satisfied now? You jackass. Give me info. The dance is old, but the name is new. Put away your daggers, Rouge. <laughs> I have peddled my wares to your kind since the upright thief stalked the night. Speak, what would you have of this humble merchant? Still torment the cold, say, eh? Granddad? <laughs> We've come for information on a smuggling job. There was this peddler who was caught at the Lethagrin checkpoint moving his merchandise for the Grin and Curse. Plead innocence even even when he had the screws put to him. You wouldn't know anything about this, would you? Every last sort of detail, not a single grain of stolen sand passes through the shadows of my knowledge. But such prickly wisdom lodges tightly in one's throat. What have you brought to ease the pain of its passage? Spare me the theatrics. Here's your usual purse. The sum is paid, the deal is made, may my answer sate your fickle hunger. Your helpless peddler was indeed innocent. He was but a beast of burden employed by associates of the Grinning Curse and likely knew not of his for its tainted nature. Upon, if you will, a convenient decoy, there are those amongst my acquaintances who specialize in providing such services. Yeah, that's what I thought. The curse wanted that call to get caught, and now the jackets have had a taste, they'll waste their time. Yeah, on every shit pie that comes through their checkpoints. Meanwhile, the rituals are hidden away in the darkness along with the grin and curs. Not the dark men's master rogue, the mist. Aside from the traveling merchant, the curs associates have spent coin on another piece for this little game. A navigator, one who has practiced in piloting a vessel through the Doxy's pull. The gods only know how many ships have sailed into that fog soup and never came out again. And that's where you say the curs have gone to ground? Now there's a trick that took some bollocks. Once their hunted uh, tub was sitting dimber in the mist, though, it would have been easy to have those associates of theirs ferry the junk goods to Lenosha. And the canny coals just needed to wait for the peddler to get boned and draw the gazes of the yellow jackets inland. We need to strike now. As soon as, we as, soon as they learn the coast is clear, they'll flee for open waters. A fair appraisal of events. Now that you know the location of your marks, however, it will not be so difficult to track them down. The Doxy Pole was once an impenetrable shroud, but even ever since the Calamity, the mists are far less constant. Now you search to the heaviest banks, and you will soon uncover those who wish to remain unseen. But now a warning, the mists conceal other dangers besides the dogs you seek. A careless step may land you upon the chopping block. 
کمین It seems I found myself another lead to look into. Yuri, I'm back to Jack and tell him what we've learned so far. All right, thanks, Granddad. All right, Jack, off. I'm home. I'm here with more information. You learn anything? So you got so long, I almost sent the stray after you. What happened to Underfoot? He went underfoot. So our, our marks in their bitten bobbles are snug inside the doxy's pull. I'm just going with the old man's warning, but we may not have a chance to crash the cruise and grab their treasures. A better chance. We board their ship right now. You, me, and Vikeb. Suppose you'll be needing yourselves a tub for the voyage. I'll have the with, with Swarson and see what the dry ducks can spare us by way of a ship and a reliable crew. Get your kit together and meet us there. I have a feeling this is going to be an instance. See ya, Keb. You are coming out from the housing district again. Here to collect some info on the runaway kid. Alright, what's going on now? Thank the gods you're here. Seems my grandson set on causing not but trouble for you. But surely you know how the lad's feeling. He's blown with hate for that murderous beast. Last time when he came along like an avenging angel and showed him the strength of your steel, well, he lit a fire in his belly. He must have got in his head to take revenge on the beast himself, daft little bugger. Anyway. Once we heard Kujat had been spotted near airport, when I shot through the door like an arrow from a bow. Ain't seen him since I beg you. Find find the little cigarette before he gets himself stomped to death. That big bastard Arx has spilled more than enough of McKinn's blood. Alright. Oh, gotta talk to you as well. <laughs> of course it's clear you must set out for airport at once. An old acquaintance of mine, Farstim, often stands guard at the post at the port gate. He might know something of lad's whereabouts. Alright, off to Aleport. Hello, we're in need of info. I've seen a boy wandering around by himself. As a matter of fact, me and my fellow gate guard here just watched a young lad traipsing off to the north. We were arguing about, about whether or not to abandon our post to bring the child back ourselves. Arch packs of Jackson prowling the wilds as late, so if you mean to head after him, pray do so quickly. Else I might even pass along word to the marauders killed. You'd be better off with an extra blade or two on your, at your back. His water skin is smoking. There's gonna be monsters. And kill one before the other one even joins. Almost. And cattle tyrant. All right, go find more smoke and clues. Find a satchel. More tyrants. And instance. Have you found any sign of secret? We found a few things, which doesn't bode well. <laughs> Came across this wood axe, a tool the lad took from the stead, perhaps? Gods below! Over here! I don't know, I'm control wasn't the kid in now. You're not gonna win this fight. And slam! Quick, save him! Alright, jackasses, let's go. I'll come for you later. <laughs> Suddenly, boss music. Defeat the jackals. Nice pattern. Also, get fucked! Weak ass jackals. Just overpower them. More have found the scent. Yeah, come out camp come at us. Stronger jackal. Not by much though. Really? That's it? You know I just beat up a bunch of you? Kinda feel like you weren't a threat anymore. Oh, get fucked. Is the kid alright? The fuck do you want? 
the dude he's over we're not gonna fight you all right bring in your boy back but not safe and sound all right your boy needs to grow some bulk if he wants to put plans on taking down that big animal by himself And now he's going to recover. Boy, let me handle that big ass animal. I'll get revenge for you. He struck his head in the fall though, and it may be some time before he opens his eyes. I mean, I thought I was doing a fine job by myself. When the situation from Mailport, I realized the dangers were greater than I had anticipated. No single marauder could have hoped to fend off. I think I was actually doing okay. <laughs> Picks up my apologies, you turned. Just for help, and yet our, your grandson now lies before you broken and battered. Ask your lives to save a little cigarette. How's a man to find fault with that? It's me who ought to be begging forgiveness for the wounds you took protecting my foolish boy. Don't concern yourself with our well-being. Our training prepares us for such eventualities. There's not more we can accomplish here. Let's head back to the guild. But first, I gotta stab stuff. Invisible people. All right, here comes another instance. All right, Monica, I pulled up in some favors, and there's a crew that'll get us close enough to scamper aboard the cruise vessel. It'll be cramped on that deck. We try to mill the whole lot at once. We'll soon find ourselves up against the rails. So we can quick and quiet and try to knock them off a few at a time. Yes, I'm good to go. Off to the boat. Battle music. Time to kill us some smugglers. I'm hidden. Right, no one's seen us so far. Let's get to work. Who's going where? I'll sink my stabbers and the captain. Those two back there are yours. You mean this one? Surprise! I took care of mine first. Oh, where are you heading now? So much for being sneaky. But the only final left of you. You sure about that? Oh, Captain. Nice attack, idiot. You're gonna summon more ads, aren't you? Let the growler off his chain. The growler. What's up, growler? Get stunned. Captain Jack needed a heal. And growler's dead. It's taking you so long to kill that. Ah, overpowered. You're getting fucked up. Alright, who else wants a piece of this? Nobody. <laughs> Did it. Do we find the merchandise? I found me one of them treasures. Unless there's another fist-sized blue diamond on board, it's gotta be the Cerulean Star. Here's some other two baubles. I've tossed the cabins and been through the hold by elm by elm, but there's not else here. I just have to ask all sweet like, won't you spit it out, Kerr? Where are you keeping the rest of the treasures? I think I spilled my guts for the likes of you, Rogue. Punch him. <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't at that. But what about this partner you're working with? So you're telling me this was all your own idea? You woke up one day and decided to attack a maelstrom transport right off the coast airport, then disappear into the, the love and embrace of the Doxy's pull? Not exactly your style, is it? The Grin and Curs are too bleeding famous for being the crew that turned their snouts up a privateer in favor of keeping to the old ways. You only escaped the yellow jackets, gripped this long by crawling on your bellies and snatching scraps that fell from the tables. You ain't the type to sink your teeth into a navy-owned vessel in the matter of the prize. Aye, right, well. Maybe there ain't no profit in being cautious no more. The Age of Pirates is swift coming to an end. And the weeb won't be stopped, not by a piddling little crew like mine. That's why we've thrown our lot in with the Executioners. That blue rock was just our, sh was just our share of the loot, the scraps from the table, like you said. If you want them other trinkets, then you'll have to take it up with our new mates. One job at a time, last. First, we need to get these stinking coals in their tub back to the docks. Did it. I won. Easy. I Means literally two buttons right now. Except for a mug now and then. Alright, Jack. We all done. 
We're right into another game. There's a lot of cutscenes in the Rogue Quest line. Put aside the issue that he gave the order, there's no doubt that there was the coast raided the Maelstrom ship. Now for a punishment that fits the crime. Bitch alert! I was wondering that a certain well-known pirate ship was spotted weighing anchor at the Morby Drive. I assume that this was your work? Yep. You missed all the excitement. The screaming star is back and Bob and our sneaky little fambles. Humph. <laughs> and these must be the grinning curs. Degenerate fiends! <laughs> How many innocent sailors are massacred that you might sate your vile efforts? Every one of your kind ought to be lined up and shot. A musket ball is the only answer for this rampant display of lawlessness. Wait, wait, wait. Can you just execute him here in the bloody docks? At least take the buggers into custody first. And no word to you for lawful punishment will satisfy the demands of the code just as well. We've already got the answers to our questions, so feel free to take him away. Do not presume to give me orders, rogue. You only managed to capture these villains and their ill-gotten treasure by employing unsavory and unca <laughs> unconscionable means. Why, you're not more than pirates yourselves. What a bitch. These bastards ain't worth a true pirate spit. The upright thieves was formed to protect us from ourselves. Now they're just hunting dogs for the admiral. And the weep he yanks the leash and another buccaneer disappears. You rogues are traitors to your own kind. If it hadn't been for you... Hey, go on then. Blame me and go <laughs> blame me for your own failures. <laughs> you know you're uh, you know you about when you divide the code, you knew what you'd be after you know that we'd be after you. We're done here. There's still two tre two treasures left, Rogue, and I mean to claim them both. I'd consider this contest of yours. I'd reconsider this contest of yours, Captain. Turns out this fish we're trying to hook is a shark, and it might just swallow you whole. Annoying fucking Lala. <laughs> and back to the guild. Alright. Good work. First blood is ours. <laughs> How'd you take to fight in the sea? There are a few. As can drop an opponent as quick as a rug, but mind you, exhaust yourself just flaying your blades at the tougher coves. It goes double for when your mates on when they're you mates on your flanks. If you notice yourself starting to flag, there's not wrong with pulling back from time to time and stagging your attacks with each other to help keep to keep the pressure on. Said it before last, but I'll need you sharp enough to carve steel for what's to come. I'm afraid this will be more of a challenge than even what that little shrew was bargaining for. That's assuming the curs the curse wasn't lying about the executioners, and the executioners are who I bloody think they are. Don't seem to me though, I'm hoping the name is just some laughable coincidence. Alright, more monies. Alright, not high enough level. Alright, and we're finished here too. Glad the lad will live, but I fear this will not be the last time Sigurd abandons caution and search for vengeance. Soon his heart festers and seeds, feeding his impatience at our seeming inaction. But let's not think ill of the boy, instead of let his helpless rage be as a spur to our efforts. Kujata will fall by your hand, and I will shape you into the deadly weapon you, that you need to be. Alright. So, got a bunch of the uh, class quests done. But because of the cutscenes, that took hours. So, next time, next time I'm going to do the class quest over in Gridania. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, like it, leave a comment, and share it. You can click on the left button to subscribe, and the right button to watch more Lalafell adventures. Thanks for watching!